Hello, so we are solving sample paper given by gate authority. So we have already solved few of the questions from linear algebra. Now in this series, let's solve all the remaining question of linear algebra. So if you look at my playlist of the sample paper where I am solving question one by one. So if you look at that few of the questions of linear algebra has been already solved now in this video what we will do we will solve the remaining or the left questions of linear algebra so let's look at question number 17 so question number 17 is easy we have given matrix H and this matrix H is given and one of the eigenvalue is given that is 5 then the other eigenvalue it is asking so it is easy so we know that the trace of matrix that is the sum of the diagonal is equal to the sum of the eigenvalues so we know that we have 2 by 2 matrix so we will get 2 eigenvalue corresponding to that so lambda 1 plus lambda 2 is equal to the sum of the diagonal that is 15 so one of the eigenvalue is given 5 so we can say that lambda 2 will be 10 so for this question the correct answer is option B let's move to another question so question number 18 so in question number 18 the question is two non-zero vector x and y are perpendicular so we have given two non-zero vectors and now they are perpendicular if their dot product is so if we take the dot product of these two vector then it will be zero now how we can write this in terms of matrix so we are taking the inner dot product so that we can transpose this vector x and we can take the inner product with y so this is nothing but the inner product so how we can take the inner product in terms of matrix so writing the inner product in matrix form this is how we can write so if you look at the matrix multiplication how we do the matrix multiplication then you will get to know that why you are we are doing this x transpose so once you will do the x transpose you can simply take the inner product and that should be equal to 0 so for this uh, the correct answer is option a x transpose y is equal to 0 let's look to next question that is question number 25 so question number is 20 question number 25 is based on eigenvalues so what question is saying that two eigenvalues of 3 by 3 matrix x are 1 plus i and 2 the determinant of matrix x is so you see that we have given n by n that is 3 by 3 so we will get three eigenvalues so we have given two eigenvalues and if you look at these eigenvalues one of one of the eigenvalue is the complex and other is real value so we know that we are going to get the three eigenvalue and to find the determinant of matrix x what we need is the product of eigenvalue if you know this property then so we have to find the determinant of some matrix x that will be the product of eigenvalue so but we know only the two eigenvalue how we can find the third eigenvalue so if you look at this one eigenvalue that is the complex then we are going to get another eigenvalue that will be the complex conjugate of this so the third eigenvalue will be one minus i 
so now what we can do we can simply find the determinant of matrix determinant of matrix x so how we can do is simply we can product the eigenvalue so uh, 1 plus i and 1 minus i into 2 so if you do the calculation that will be uh, 2 into 2 4 so the correct answer for question number 25 is 4 so next question uh, is 37 so this question is again based on eigenvalue eigenvector and we have already solved this question you can find the link for the solution of this question in maybe in the description or in the comment box so you can go through that so it has been already solved and the correct answer for this is option a that uh, that i am able to whatever what i am able to recall is the option a you can go through the solution let's look into another question and that is the question number 38 and the and we have solved this question number 38 already so again you will get the link in the comment box or in the description that you can go through the explanation of this question next question is 39 we have already solved this question too and you can get the link in the description or in the comment box now this 48 number question is the last one based on linear algebra so let's look at this 48 question number what it is saying that consider matrix x whose eigenvalues are 1 minus 1 3 then trace of x q minus 3 x square is this so what will be the trace of this matrix so if i have to say this question is again based on the eigenvalues plus i can say plus diagonalization so you can convert so let me just give we can solve it straightforward but let me just give you the background of this question so you can convert any matrix uh, that have the independent eigenvector into its uh, diagonal form suppose we have given this matrix x then we can write it as the as it's in diagonal form so it is some matrix x s and this matrix s is the what how we can find this matrix as by putting the those independent eigenvector in columns so whatever suppose you will get the three independent eigenvector of this matrix x now to find s what you can do you just put those three eigenvector in the column of a matrix then you can call that matrix as s and here is our lambda and that is the diagonal matrix and its diagonal uh, element contains the eigen value it is diagonal matrix and its diagonal element contains the eigen value and this s inverse that is the inverse of this matrix s so we can write those matrix and we can say uh, we can decompose a matrix into its diagonal form uh, that having the independent eigen vector so now let's look at this uh, x cube so how we can so here the main goal is to find the matrix x cube once you find the matrix x cube then you to find the trace what you will do is you will add the diagonal element right but the main focus is to find the diagonal elements so once we decompose this matrix into diagonal form then let's look at the x q and what will happen to the diagonal element so so we have given so you can write this matrix x and we have given this uh, eigenvalues right so you can put these eigenvalue in the diagonal 
of this then you will get the lambda then is this s inverse so now if you have to find this x q so what you will do that s lambda s this is one s x again x q you will have to do again you will write s lambda s inverse again you will write s lambda s inverse look at this this is nothing but i right s inverse s this is nothing but i so ultimately what you will get is s lambda q and s inverse so how you can decompose this x q is s lambda q s inverse so you look at this lambda q this is diagonal matrix right and it contains the eigen values so it is nothing but the cube of this diagonal matrix right so once you multiply the three diagonal matrix what will happen that the diagonal element will get cubed itself so you got overall picture that what will be the trace of this x cube that let's first find out the what will be the diagonal element of x cube that will be a 1 cube minus 1 cube and this 3 cube right so the trace of x cube will be the sum of these so 1 minus 1 and plus 27 the overall it will be 27 now what will be the trace of trace of this 3x square 3x square so it will be 3 times 1 square plus 3 times minus 1 square plus 3 times 3 square right so it will be 3 minus sorry plus 3 and again plus 27 so overall it will be 33 now what you will have to find the difference so 33 and 27 so 27 minus 33 that will be minus 6 so the answer for this question is minus 6 so that solves our question so at the end what we have done we have solved all the linear algebra question let me just list down what are the numbers of the linear algebra question so question number is 17 18 25 37 38 39 48 so we have solved all of these questions so one two three four five six seven so seven question from linear algebra you will find in this sample paper so we have uh, or solved all these seven question so whatever the remaining question was there i have solved in this lecture and for other question you will get the link in the chat uh, in the comment and maybe in the description so you can go through that thank you